We're making steel today. That's right. Last video, we built a 600 megawatt coal power plant out in the Rocky Desert. That's going to be enough to get us out of biomass and carry us through most of phase two for power. In today's video, we're going to pull iron ore from the pure node that's right above us, lay out a floor plan for the machines, and build a basic steel line that's going to give us enough beams and pipes to unlock the blueprint designer, electric transmission, and the next two parts for the face elevator to finish off phase two. Bringing a satisfactory modeler to plan this out, I'm going to get one constructor for steel beams and one constructor for steel pipes. Uh, that's going to need 90 steel ingots coming in uh, to make 20 pipes and 15 beams. So that's going to require two foundries working with 90 of each coal and iron ore, which is going to be fine because we're going to be bringing in 120 each. Uh, let's see here, just to show you, if we bump this up to say two machines, we're at 150 and that's just not going to work. So for this basic setup, we're just going to do one and one with the two foundries and we're just going to have to get creative with how we divide up the ingots when they go through but we'll get to that in a second but for now we're going to take a little drive up here to where this iron node is and have to be real careful and crouch up to these these guys here and beat the hell out of them if you crouch you won't activate them there we go and we just got to take care of this iron node and place some foundations And get our power hooked up here, connected to the coal generator. And then run our conveyor belt out to the edge here. We're gonna hop on down and get ready to place this lift. You wanna make sure to place down a conveyor pole nearby just so you can line them up easy. Little tip for you. So we're going to use a conveyor uh, lift to connect this coal miner up like to keep my belts off the floor whenever I can. We're also going to need to merge the two coal mines together since we're only putting out 60. Uh, we need 100, well we need 90, but uh, 120 will do it. So we just need to lift that up to the level there and then finish up our connections with the iron and coal. Then we'll be all set. So I like to paint the foundations for where I know my machines are going to go. Uh, the foundries are going to take up two uh, foundations long, and the constructor constructors are just going to take up one foundation square. And over here, we're going to put our uh, our storage crates. It's pride, bitch. Okay, so we'll just set these found these foundries here, and once I have them down, we're gonna set a uh, uh, conveyor pole there because we're gonna need it to put the lifts. Uh, we need those there to make short lifts, and then we will connect them all together with these splitters fed into one, and then we'll put a splitter on the top level, and we'll have coal going into one line and iron ore going into the other. Now we just need to set down our constructors here. Get one feeding directly across from each boundary. Set this to steel beams, this one to steel pipes. So there is a little bit of a, a tricky situation here. So each foundry is producing 45 steel ingots per minute, giving us a total of 90 ingots all together, which we're gonna merge into one single output. Now we've got two constructors to feed, one for steel beams, which needs 60 ingots per minute, and one for steel pipes, which only needs 30. So what we're going to do is we're going to split the merger first into one splitter that feeds directly into our steel beam constructor, and then the other half, 45 ingots, is going to go to a second splitter, which sends half of that, 22.5 ingots per minute to the steel pipe constructor 
and then we feed the remaining 22.5 back into the original merger, which then just feeds the system again. And that loop will keep the flow balanced. So as long as both constructors are running, the system is going to self-regulate to supply 60 ingots to beams and 30 ingots to pipes. There won't be any overflow and nothing will be underfed. Now we just need to lay down our storage containers here, one there, and one there. And we'll just connect up our belts, and once we have that, we are going to go up to our tower and get everything ready. So yeah, well now we just need to connect the belts, and it will begin rolling through with our coal and iron to make the ingots. I took about five or five or so minutes to actually like even out and start producing things at a normal rate. But once it does, I'd say probably about 20 minutes or so, you should have enough steel beams and steel pipes to get you through all of the remaining tiers that there were the blueprints, the electric, uh, the electricity um, network, the towers, the hyper tubes and your final space elevator parts. And there we go, that is your pretty basic steel layout to get you through at least unlocking the tiers. The next video uh, we do, we're going to focus on getting some other technology opened up, and that way we can really start playing the game and start screwing around with blueprints and working on our Phase 2 factory and everything else. So I hope you come back, please like and subscribe, and comment down below if you like the video. Thank you. Bye.